Hello everyone, it's Juliet here at Spoilt Rotten Beads and you have joined me on Black Friday. But it's not Black Friday, it's Rainbow Friday. We want your help today at Spoilt Rotten Beads, help in turning Black Friday into Rainbow Friday. Because what we'd like to do is to raise as much money as we can for a wonderful charity here in the UK called the Rainbow Trust. Now the Rainbow Trust help really sick children and their families they're a lovely charity and they do a lot of amazing work here and I'm going to put a link to the Rainbow Trust underneath this video so you can head on over there and make a donation to them if you would like and check out the wonderful work that they do. Um, and in a moment I'm going to show you how to make this lovely rainbow themed bracelet here and this bracelet will be on sale as a very limited edition kit over on our website www.spoiltrottenbeads.co.uk and all of the money, that's 100% of the money from the sale of these lovely rainbow themed kits will be going directly to the Rainbow Trust. So if you are lucky enough to purchase one of these kits today, then when you make it, you can know that you are really helping to support a lovely charity and to helping to turn Black Friday into Rainbow Friday. We've also got lots going on on social media surrounding this on Facebook and on Instagram and over on our website. So head on over there and take a look and please like and share everything and help us to turn Black Friday into Rainbow Friday. So I think that's everything I need to say before I get making and show you how to make yourself one of these lovely right angle weave bracelets. So to make one of these lovely right angle weave bracelets, you will need the following. You'll need some six millimeter fire polish beads like the ones I've got here. Now to make an eight inch long bracelet, you'll need a total of 56 of these fire polish beads. And we sell them in bags of 100 at Sport Russian Beads. So one bag will be more than enough for you. You'll need some size 11 seed beads. And I'm using these beautiful Toho nickel size 11 seed beads here. And then you'll also need some size, some smaller size 15 seed beads. And I'm again, I'm using a Toho bead here and um, the color is nickel. And you can experiment with um, different shades of size 11s and size 15s if you like. If I just point out to you where they sit in the design, then you can see that. So the size 11s are here, 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 and here. And the size 15s are just either side of these size 11s. So they are just either side of the size 11s down the center of the design there. So you can see how if you switched it up a little bit and chose to put in different colors of size 15s, you'd get a completely different effect. You'll also need a clasp and I've just chosen this simple magnetic clasp here. Then you'll need a size 10 beading needle and some beading thread as well. Now this bracelet is really simple and easy to make. The first thing you need to do is to thread your needle up with around about a meter and a half of fireline thread um, and then you want to begin threading your beads. And you start off by picking up a size 11 seed bead followed by a six millimeter fire polish and then just keep that pattern going alternating between the size 11s and the six mil fire polish bead until you have used a total of four of each bead like I have done there. So I'm just gonna take that down towards the tail of my thread there. I'm pulling that through. <clears throat> okay. There we go. Um, and you can see on my tail of my thread there. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna leave around about a sort of 20 centimeter long tail there. And I'm just gonna knot that to my working thread. So I'm pulling everything round in a circle and knotting it together like so. It looks like that. And I'm gonna tie a nice double knot here. Pull it tight. And there we go. So now what I'm gonna do is so that I leave the tail of my thread um, and the um, at, at this edge of the bracelet, I'm gonna stitch around 
So I exit from this size 11 right here. So I'm just stitching through the beads that I've already threaded and so that I'm exiting from that size 11. And I'll let you guys take a look at that. So there's my tail of my thread and there's my working thread there. And um, now I'm ready for my next unit. So I'm exiting some, from a size 11. So I'm going to pick up a 6mm fire polish, then a size 11, 6mm fire polish, size 11, 6mm fire polish, size 11, and a 6mm fire polish. And you see now I've used four 6mm fire polish beads, but only three size 11 beads. I'm going to take that down to my work and then I'm going to stitch back through the size 11 that I am exiting. And if I pull that around, you'll see it looks like that. And I'm now going to stitch through the 6mm fire polish beads in size 11 so that I'm exiting from this size 11 seed bead here. There we go. And all you need to do is just continue that same pattern um, until your bracelet is just a little bit shorter than you want it to be. Um, and if you, um, I'm going to, I'm going to just use 54 beads because the set, the eight inch bracelet was a little bit too long for me. Um, so I'm just going to use a total of 54 beads, which will be, um, how many units will that be? Let's just count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. I'm just going to do 12 units. Whereas this lovely rainbow, um, pattern here we have used, we've done 13 units, but I'm just going to do 12 cause that will fit my wrist nicely. Okay, so I have finished my 12 units there and you can see it's um, I'm exiting from the end B, the end size 11 and it looks kind of a little bit higgledy-piggledy at this stage. It's not all lying in a straight line and that's where these size 15 seed beads come in because they will make everything lie straight and they'll also um, make the design more rigid as well because at the moment it sort of feels a little bit flimsy. So those size 15s will really stiffen the whole thing up. So I'm exiting from this size 11 seed bead here and I'm going to stitch through and so that I'm exiting from this 6mm fire polish bead right here. So I'm exiting now from that fire polish bead. You want to be pulling everything tight as you go. And now I'm going to pick up a size 15 seed bead there. So I've just picked up one of my size 15 seed beads and I'm going through the next 6mm fire polish bead in the design. So that's the one in the next unit there. And I'll just pull that tight and hopefully you guys can see that sitting right there. There's my size 15 seed bead sitting between those two 6mm fire polish beads. And you just want to repeat that all the way down the length of the bracelet. So exiting from that 6mm fire polish bead, pick up a size 15 and then go back through the next size 15 in the design. And pull tight. So I'm going to go all the way down this size of my piece now and then I'll come back to you when I've done okay, that. So I've gone all the way down this side of my bracelet now and you can see my little size 15s sitting between each of my units there. I'm exiting from this 6mm fire polish bead and I'm going to ignore my tail that I've left right at the very beginning there and stitch through all the beads in this unit so that I'm exiting on the other side of my bracelet and I can whiz down that side adding in my size 15. So once again I'm exiting from my 6mm fire polish. I'm going to pick up a size 15 bead and then go through the next fire polish bead and through to the other side of that unit there. 
So again, I'm now onto my next unit and I am going to pick up a size 15 and go through that next size six mil fire polish bead. If I just pull that tight, you can see now there's a size 15 either side of this size 11 here and the same on this unit here. So I'm just gonna go all the way down this side of my bracelet and do the same thing. And you can see how it really stiffens the design up, makes everything sit nice and square. And so um, that has a, a really good effect on, on this bracelet and gives it a nice, um, a, a nice professional finish. So I'm gonna go all the way down the other end and then I will show you how to attach. Your okay, so I've gone all the way down both sides of my bracelet now and it's looking really good. It's so sparkly in this silver colorway, perfect for a party night, I think. And I'm exiting from this size 11 on the end of my bracelet and I'm going to pick up seven size 15 seed beads. So that's three, four, five, six, seven. So that's seven size 15 seed beads. And then I'm going to take my clasp and I'm going to go through the loop on one side of my clasp and these size 15s will fit through that the loop on that clasp and I'm then going to go back through that size 11 seed bead that I am exiting pull everything around and there's my nice clasp loop now I want to add some strength to that so I'm going to go it's magnetic so it's catching my needle here um, so I'm going to go back through those beads a couple more times so I'm going to pull it tight hold my clasp out of the way and then go through all seven of those size 15 C beads a couple more times so that I add some strength to that piece there because that is where the bracelet's going to get the most wear it's always a bit tricky doing this with a magnetic clasp because the magnetic clasps are so strong and they just want to stick to your needle. But that's, uh, that is once round. There we go. And I think I'm just going to do it once more for luck there. And back through. Back through those last three and the 11 there. There we go. And that's my clasp attached. So to finish off my thread, I'm just gonna stitch through so that I'm exiting from the size 11 on this side of my bracelet. And I'm gonna tie some half hitch knots. So I'm stitching underneath between two beads, pull it through so that I get a loop go through that loop and making sure that that loop sits between the two beads, pull it tight, do it again and then pull that knot inside the next bead and repeat. So I'm just stitching between a couple of beads and pulling tight and repeating. And I'm happy now that that's nice and secure. So I can pull that last knot inside a couple more beads and then I'll be able to trim off my tail of thread. So that's my clasp nicely attached. To attach the other side, I'm just gonna repeat that process. I'm gonna slip off my needle from my working thread, pop it onto the tail I left right at the beginning and repeat that process to attach my clasp to the other side of my bracelet and then I will be done. So I hope you have enjoyed watching this video tutorial. I hope you enjoy making your simple right angle weave bracelets there. They're very, very effective as you can see and you can have lots of fun switching up the colors, gone for that lovely silver 
um, party theme here, whereas we have got the beautiful rainbow here that I told you about earlier, which I think is, is wonderful and it seems a really lovely thing to do on, um, on Black Friday, um, to turn Black Friday on its head and make it about supporting a wonderful charity here in the UK. So thank you very much for watching, guys. Bye-bye.